What's up, everybody? It's kind of 64 here, and fuck it. Okay, I tried to do the voice. I was seeing if that voice would work. If you do want me to do that voice on on a creepy, um, what if I might do that? I don't know. But last time we left off, uh, this is gonna be a part four for what if Deku went back in time. Last time we left off of the USJ. So after that, you know what happened. Y'all can watch part three for that. So basically, um, they have two weeks off, I think. So, yeah, I th yeah, I'm just going to take two weeks off. So, basically, after that, Deku ha was just, uh, well, let's see. Um, okay, I got it. Uh, okay. Deku was just chilling out, you know, until um, Bakugo and his sister, Mits I think it's... Shit, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay, um, it's Katsumi. Yeah, I remember it was Katsumi. Basically, Katsumi and Bakugo went to Deku's house to hang out. And I guess, well, instead of, well, Bakugo was only going to be there for a couple of minutes. You know, just to say like, hi, and then he left. But then, basically, ah, fuck. <laughs> Complete damn it. Ba Bakugo's sister, Katsumi. Basically, was hanging out with Deku. And I might make this 18 or older video, but who the heck knows? <laughs> you know, basically, um, Bak Bak uh, well, after when Bakugo left, it was quiet. And Deku was like, So, um, you want something to eat? And she's like, Yeah, I want something to eat. And he's like, Wait, what? Why do you say it like that? Uh, nothing. No, I didn't say it like nothing. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go fix me something to drink. And after that, cuts me. Yeah. And after that, cuts me. Went to to hang out in Deku's room. And Deku just got him something to drink and some snacks. Then he just relaxed and was watching, you know, watching TV. Until out of nowhere, you know, uh, you know who, Kats yeah, K Katsumi just jumps on deck, jumps on Deku, and this might where the this might be where the eighteen plus comes in. She just like she can't hold back her feelings no more. So you know how she is. She's kind of a dominance type. She basically grabs on to Deku, you know. And then she kisses him. And Deku is fucking freaked the hell out. Like, he's like, what the hell is going on? It is, this is how Deku's mind is. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck did she just do? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And he starts to mutter in his head. Like, fuck, 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 fuck. And then, well, you know, she's on top. And, well... She is getting a little productive, if you know what I mean. She basically, she starts to get undressed. She takes off her shirt. And she takes off her skirt. So, what do you think was going to happen after this? She gets where the... Let's see. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know why the fuck I'm doing this. I just think it's kind of funny. She gets where the <clears throat> 12 inches, <laughs> she pulls that sucker out, and she's like, damn. <laughs> so, she starts licking and sucking the tip. Deku was moaning and kind of twitching out. <laughs> like He's like, oh, God, fuck. And by a couple of minutes later... He, she's, you know, going, like, she's, she's sucking the whole thing, like, freaking wild style. And then Deku grabs her head, pushes it in one more time, and he comes, comes in her mouth. And so after that, she, like, <coughs> she's starting to cough. She's like, oh, you don't have to do it so hard. 
Well, you, you, you tackled me, so hey. And, well, they're, they're, well, they're, you know, there's flowers in the air, so however, however that, however that goes, I guess. Um, so Deku, by being really fucking hormone, his hormones are fucking out of the roof, he basically jumps on top of her and gets where her pussy is. So he starts to, you know, look it. He starts licking the pussy. He's he starts to finger her and do the finger lick combo. <laughs> yeah, he's doing that, and he's going wild on that. I'm not joking. He is going wild on her. And then after that, after after that, he grabs his 12 inch and sticks it in. He's, when he sticks half of it fucking in. She starts to moan and screech, like, not, like, not like the bad screech, more like the good screech. She put, she starts to put her legs around him, and then here comes the, the sex part. He starts to go in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. She, she starts, he keeps on doing that for a couple of hours. Katsumi, me she through all this whole time I don't know why I keep on forgetting her, her name she keeps on um, she's moaning over and over and then Deku's mom comes home yes but Deku's mom come wait what does he Baka go no I don't think so Deku's mom comes home from work and well, she goes straight to her room to lay down. And then she hears something what she doesn't want to hear, but she's she's kind of half starting to be half asleep, so she's thinking it's probably nothing. And then after after one, you know, Baku's sister. I don't know why. I just keep on forgetting her name, and I think that's fucking stupid. Caught, yeah, cuts me, cuts me, cuts me, cuts me. Okay, cuts me. Basically, she came um, three times already. And Deku's like, oh god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust a nut. <laughs> oh my god, I, can't, I cannot say that with a straight fucking face. I'm sorry. I cannot say that with a straight face. He, he basically butts a nut. He, he butts a nut. Three freaking times. He, he, he does it three times in one go. In one go without um stopping basically, like through that whole time, he doesn't just bust a nut once. He does it three freaking times on that first go. So after when that's done, a couple minutes go by. Deku takes a shower. Mits after that, Mitsuki takes a shower. No, not Mitsuki. Um, wait, yeah, not Mitsuki. It's um, fuck. Yeah, caught me. Katsumi takes a shower after that, and the day goes by. And after that, after that first day, a couple of days go by. Well, we see the two the two weeks go by, and Deku and Mitsuki. I mean, not Mitsuki. Um, fuck, you know, Bakugo's sister, not his mom. That would actually be funny. I might do that, but I'm not sure. Bakugo's sister, Katsumi. I mean, yeah, Katsumi, they do it a few more times. And then after that, um, they go to the sports festival. Well, after that, they go to school, and they basically get on the bus, and they go to the sports festival. They're all talking and all that. Um, let's see, Deku, Katsumi, Yui, and Asina, Asina, well, yeah, I think. I think it's Asin. I think I, I think I said Oh my daughter's name was Asina or Asime. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's Asime. There are three hanging out with Deku, including um Bakugo and Todoroki. They were all hanging out with each other. And also, um well Ida and uh, what's her name? Round face. Um you know the one who, the one who Deku saved in the original, 
in his in his in his, uh, in his time. Well, no, it, no, it, no. It. Those two wouldn't be hanging out with Deku, because this is another timeline. They're a little different. Well, Ida's completely different, and Uraka, she's not that different. She has more of a sassy attitude, I guess you can say. But she's also one of those girls. In this timeline, in this universe, she's more of one of those girls who would just sleep around, I guess you could say. But, of course, Deku in this universe is going to be a complete and total playboy, I guess you could say, kind of. And this one's going to become yeah, this one's gonna be 18 or older. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that because I just already did it. I did the first sex scene. There's gonna be a couple more. I bet. How long we've been? So basically, they get to the um, they they get to the they get to the sports festival. If I remember who won, I think it was um. Uh, if I remember, I think it was Deku who won. Yeah, Deku. So Deku, his speech would be like, okay, guys. I hope, I hope we all do great in this. How we do great in the sports festival, guys. So, I uh, see, ya. see you guys. I hope, I, hope, I hope we all do great. And I know the um the battle. I know the attack on what happened at the USJ. That was just a countermeasure. We will get stronger, and we will defeat them one day. So plus ultra. And decorate the stage and giving everyone, you know, some a lot of confident confidence. So the first match would happen. Well, not first match. The first thing is the race. That will go on how it would be in canon. Don't really, you know, got no say to that. That will go on a can. The two of the things, the race will go on as in canon. Instead of Deku breaking his finger, I think. I think he broke his finger that one or did no no way no he didn't break his finger so the the first the first one and the second one would be the same so the um the v on v match deku versus um sencho i think that's the name it's the mind control guy so basically when they get on the ri when they get on the ring deku knows how this is gonna play out so what he does is he completely Uses 100%. Well, he goes. He go. He only uses 50% of one for all, and basically just dusk the guy. He basically just he runs so fast, no one could see him, and he punches um Sensho, I think that's his name, in the um in the gut, and that dude goes, and then he he basically just passes it. He gets knocked out. So that was that, and if I remember, it was so. All the other fights would kind of go the same. Yeah, would basically go the same. So now let's go to um Deku versus Todoroki, because these two are good friends, and Todoroki actually uses his, starts to use his fire now, and yeah, Todoroki and Deku. The fight would kind of go similar, kinda. It would just Deku won't be breaking his arms, and they will be fighting like there's no normal. Deku will be, come on, is that all you got, Todoroki? I know you can do more than that. Bring it on. And Todoroki is using complete, using fire and ice to get Deku. And that ain't working. So Deku uses plus, basically he uses 100, he uses infinite 100, basically going that, that, you know, that, his hair would turn blue. The ore around him would be would be a light blue. His hair would be a light blue. The ore around him, even his eyes would turn light blue. And he would basically just vanish and reappear behind Todoroki. And then basically, basically like bitch slapping him across the freaking arena. And we're like, yeah, that hurt. Yeah. Come on. Is that all you got? I really thought you would be better than this. Basically rushing at him and then basically doing the imagine the um Goku versus um I wanna say Cell fight or the Beerus fights. One of those two. 
but Deku wins anyways with a freaking knockout. Deku basically kicks Todoroki a little bit up, then puts his puts his leg all the way up, and basically goes down onto him, putting his face completely to the floor. Basically, the basically the stadium where where um, Todoroki's head is. That thing's completely down to the ground. And, well, because of um, Endeavor, he knows the kid's power, and he is kind of mad Todoroki lost. But he's also kind of afraid of Deku. He's, he's afraid of Deku. He does not want to get close to that kid. Because <laughs> last time, he went through his freaking house. So that guy, he doesn't want to get close to him. Like, he's still mad about it, but he's like, Argh. And, oh yeah, before I do forget, um, in the last episode, I did say he did tell everyone about, well, well, he, instead of, he didn't tell them about one for all, he told them he was from another universe, and the, the only thing he told, he basically grabbed All Might, and he only, he, the only person he told, he already, he told All Might about he gave him one for all and all that. So yeah, he didn't, no one else knows he has one for all, and he was corkless in his other timeline. All they know is he's from another world, and he was in a great war with Shigaraki and all that, and all the event. He basically explains the events. So yeah, so after this, after you know him beating the, almost he beating the crap out of um, you know out of. Mm, half and half, it goes on and goes on. It's Deku versus, um, Ida. Ida, yeah, Ida. And, and this time I did say Ida's full of himself, so he's talking shit about Deku saying, huh, you're just a commoner. You, you don't have a hero family. You're not the best. You're just a, and when he says this, the way you go, the way you defeated that Nomu with no confidence by just almost by by all the bloodlust and all that, you're just a monster. And he says this out loud. And of course, black and the black and red lightning electricity all over Deku. And every time when Deku uses this this power, the 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 thing what he the thing what one for all gave him when he was draining the energy out of one for all, no. One for all. all. I mean, not one for all. All for once. When he got, when he was getting that quirk, all for one still has his quirk. It's just Deku drained the energy out of it and took some of it. He didn't take all of it. He took all. I'm gonna say all for one has. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna say he has. Uh, maybe like. 49% of his quirk, his other, the other part is completely missing, and he destroyed, when he destroyed that other part of it, he, when he destroyed the other part, what off one does not have, that energy went back into flowing, but every time when he uses this dark, this negative energy of, of, you know, when the black and light, when the br black and red lightning comes onto him, that Dark energy cre keeps on creating a darker version of Deku. Yep. And all that. And so Deku goes completely, completely. He basically goes, I'm going to say, I'm going to I'm thinking about calling it nightmare mode. Yeah. He goes nightmare mode, basically. Basically, his eyes go completely black with the red dots. With the red dots. And, um, he has this evil grin. <laughs> so, you want to say that again? And by everyone hearing this voice, All Might knows he's going to kill the kid. He's going to kill the kid. He's going to kill him. And All Might can't do nothing. And he's like, well, that kid's already passed 100%. And he's way stronger than me. <sighs> and, of course, well, if I know... He basically goes ballistic on Ida by almost killing him. He he's like, you want to call me a monster, you fake. 
basically he calling him a fake hero going basically calling and of course Stain, the League of Villains are watching this. He grabs Ida's face, boo basically plumbing it to the ground with no mercy, blood everywhere. Ida saying, Stop, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. Grabs him by the neck. I'm going to make you suffer. What you just called me, I'm gonna show you what a real monster does. Not what a villain does. What a complete Nihilo monster. <laughs> Every base he Ida is shitting his pants. He doesn't know what is gonna go on. He thinks he's gonna die until All Might says, You stop this, young Madoya. Detroit smash! Deku catches it. He just completely catches that punch. What the? Everyone watches this. Don't try that again, old man. Completely breaking All Might's arm. Twisting it with a fucking bone pops out. All Might screaming and he's like, ah, scream. Everyone sees All Might's arm busted up. Like by just by this Deku grabbing it and twisting it just a just an inch, basically completely breaks All Might's arm. All Might is basically in pain. He's like blood is coming out of All Might's arm. No one knows what the hell he is. This kid. Then he, then of course, then Endeavor and um, All Might try to double team um, Deku, but of course Deku just kicks them. He just kicks Endeavor. Through the wall and was like, oh my god, this kid's scary. Even all the villains are watching this. Everyone around the world is watching this. Even well, yeah, even um Deku's mom is watching this. And of course he's like, You mm -hmm. wow, you're really weak. And he did a turn to finish him off. What the hell just happened? Okay, sorry about that guy, something Something happened with my phone, I guess. And, um, Deku basically d put his foot up and kicked him to the ground. Then kicked him away. And he was gonna finish day. He was gonna finish, um, Ida. But then, he, of course, he was like, ah, forget it. Even if I kill you, Izuku Midoriya is gonna feel terrible. He's like, mm -hmm. Izuku's gonna feel terrible if I kill you. And I want to say, what do you mean? Uh, what? I'm not Izuku. <laughs> I'm a, well, I guess you could say, I am a darker version of him. You can call me Nightmare. I'm a darker version of what lives inside of him. I've been living inside of him ever since, ever since. He unlocked the darker version of me. Ever since he unlocked. Ever since he stole all for one's quirk in our universe. I was born. <laughs> and he just basically just throws Ida out of the ring. And he just walks off. Well, see you later. I'm bored. And he detransforms. And Decker's like, Oh, what happened? And of course, um, Bakugo and, um, Yui, Asime, and Bakugo's sister. Fuck, what's her name again? It's, um, Katsumi. Yeah, Katsumi. They all four go up to Deku and say, What? Deku's, Bakugo's like, Dude, what the fuck was that? That was fucking intense. Were you about to kill him? And all the other, the three girls are, are like, they're, they're kind of upset. They're like, are you okay? He's like, yeah, I'm fine. Then of course, um, they go off and you, not um, uh, well, okay, um, Asi, yeah, Asime, yeah, Asime, she grabs Deku and takes him. 
It's like, what are you doing? What are you... Throws him onto the, um... Into a room. And this is where another part comes in. She basically... Take, God damn it, what the hell? She completely takes her clothes off. Gets on top of Deku. And kisses him. Deku was like, what the fuck's going on? And of course... Deku was like, um, how many girls are just going to force themselves onto me? And she goes for the, you know what? She basically grabs the 12 inch and jerks it off, basically. And then she starts to lick and suck the tip and goes down and just does that. Deku was like, oh, fuck, oh, God. Like, he's kind of, you know, moaning a little bit because, yeah. He's going to fucking blow job. <laughs> and basically, um, well, Deku, he can't control his urges. So he grabs her, sticks it in, he sticks his, he sticks the penis into her, into her vagina. And, well, so fucking hard, he sticks it in so hard, she starts to bleed. And yet. Yeah, yeah, she was a virgin, so she she was gonna bleed anyways. So he sticked it in so freaking hard she moaned and she it's a mix of a scream and a moan, you know. A little bit you know, a little bit of tears came out and like sh then he started to go back and forth until until her pussy got used to it. And he was going fucking crazy on her. Basically basically imagine um let's see Issei on top of, um, you know, that one of the demon girls, all basically on all the demon girls from, from high school DXD. Issei doing, um, a Reese, I think her name's Risa, you know, the one with the red hair, the red hair girl, and the girl with the black hair, the one who's a half demon, half angel, half, an you know, fallen angel. Basically, how he would probably do them, you know, all those little fantasies he do, he does. He basically kind of does that, grabbing on her tits and basically having his little having fun with it. Oh fuck! What the heck just happened? So about that, guys. Uh, let's go back. I accidentally hit, you know, I accidentally hit the button. So he basically has his fun with her, and then he you nuts. Know, Basically, he nuts, uh, he nuts once, and then he's still going, like, my, dude, my man, he has some fucking stamina, <laughs> he's like a fucking horse, he's like, he has, he, he, he about to have that fucking horse fucking dick, <laughs> like, just fucking chill it in, god, I'm having too much, I don't know why, but I, I don't think I have, I should have too much fun with this, with this, with this part, but I'm just saying it's funny to me. And she's moaning and like, and then he sticks his two fingers in basically, and you know, basically doing that into her mouth. And she's moaning, and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust a nut. <laughs> and he does it like, you know, he does it two times. He does it twice in at the same time. And then she she basically had that fucking double D going super fast and came in her like fucking three times. So her body can't take that shit. So when he when he fucking sticks that shit out, she fucking passes out on the floor. She's panting and all that. And it was um Deku's time. It was Deku's turn to go. Also, I did forget to um say, instead of Uraraka, it was Deku. It was Bakugo versus um, uh, Yui, and then basically those. Some things are different, but basically the people were not basically the fights would, you know, kind of go the same how they. Can, but there also be you know how it'd be like three new people in there. I'm gonna say a couple people from class one B would would be in there. The ones like some people who were in canon, the people who wasn't in canon would be in those fights because they need three more contestants.
as you can say. And of course, um, after Bakugo's fight, it'll be the final rounds. Bakugo versus, um, let's see. Yeah, Bakugo versus Deku. We don't know how this is gonna go. They're gonna go all out, motherfuckers. They're gonna go all out. I'm not joking. When when Midnight says go, Bakugo fucking goes completely all the way, blasts Deku in the face without him even knowing. Deku went completely Godspeed on him, and what he hit was a freaking illusion or like a flash image. He's like, I'm right behind you. He's like, wait, what? Ba Deku punches Bakugo. Could go in the face, like, like punches Bakugo right in the fucking face, and Bakugo gets flown back. Goes, yeah, Deku and Bakugo are going at it like crazy. Everyone's, everyone's like, yeah, yeah, this is the best one in the of oh, everything, or something like that. You know, they're screaming for like. Some people are saying the explosion kid's gonna win. Some people say um Deku's gonna win, and of course Deku's like, okay. You want me to go all out, Bakugo? He's like, yeah, I do. Bakugo basically uses the um the pea shot move. Deku basically dodges that, and then De Bakugo's like, yeah, okay. You know, you know what he kind of would do like in the original canon, where he grabs his grenade launcher things and pull the on um, the pens out. That's basically what he would do here. He would do that. He says, okay, Deku, take this! Grabs both of the pens and, well, grabs the pen, exploding it, then do it again really fast for the other arm and exploding. Basically, two freaking huge explosions are going off. Deku's just standing there and he takes it like a man. He, he takes it when the, when, the, when, when the smoke is clear. Everyone's like, is he out of the ring? What's going on? Deku was just, Deku was just there, just floating. Like, huh, wow. Bakugo, was that all you had? I'm only floating off the floor of an inch off the ground. Was that all you have? And, and Bakugo's like, what? How's that? And Deku just vanishes. Wait, how did you... He just bitch slapped Bakugo across the face. Bakugo goes flying, and then Deku's just having a little bit more fun. Imagine, you know how um how the Flash would play ping pong with himself, or you know how Sonic did it in the movie. Basically that, but imagine a human body. Basically, you know Bakugo is basically the ball. And Deku is basically the um the racket of the ping pong. He's basically he instead of using a racket, he's using punches. He's doing that so fast, and to everyone else, he he did it in a second. But in reality, he did it over two thousand times in a minute in a minute a second. And, and I know that's a little op and super freaking fast. But remember, he's using. He's basically using over 100% over, he's using 100% of one for all, plus infinite 100 of one for all. Basically, those two, he's going complete, he's basically over freaking powered. Like everyone knows all for one, I mean one for all, the quirk of one for all is overpowered, it's an overpowered quirk. First of all, it's a stockpile quirk, what stocks power other quirks, and... Yeah. Well, okay, well, what was that? And what else could happen? Um, basically, Deku won, and he gets the medal. Basically, this is how it would be. Um, it would be Deku, then Deku in first place, Bakugo second place, and I think it would be Tokoyami. I think that's the bird guy's name, the one with, who has the quirk Dark Shadow. Would be in third place, basically, and well, yeah, Baku, Baku would be happy, but <laughs> well, I cheered my horse, but you had to, you had to do me like a freaking ping pong. Well, that's sorry, Baku, but it was kind of fun.
you know, throwing you around like a, you know, throwing you around like a ping pong ball. It was pretty fun. <laughs> Whatever. And of course, they go. They leave the sports festival, and Decker just heads home. And he's chilling the heck out. Like, I'm gonna say that was on a Friday. So the next day is Saturday. So yeah, he's chilling out. And of course, Deku's mom's not home. And Deku goes to open the door and he sees Yui. He's like, oh, uh, what's up, Yui? It's uh, been a while, I guess. You did okay at the sports festival. Yeah, I know I lost. I know I'm not better than my brother, but hey. At least you actually stand ahead of your brother, huh? Well, you did go, uh, well, you, you did a little bit better. I want to say you did a little bit better than your brother, but uh, I don't want to kind of lie, I guess. It's, I get, I know, I, I need to, all I need to do is get better, <laughs> I guess. So, what are you uh, doing here? Um, hmm, wait, why is her face red? Why is she... Oh no, she ain't gonna tackle me. Please tell me she ain't gonna do what the other two what the other two girls did. And Deku's going through his mind and like, you know, basically what happened. He, he's thinking all basically what those two did and what he did to them. Like, he ain't mad, but at the same time he's thinking, why the fuck did I do that? Like, what the hell was I thinking? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it, it was just my hormones. It, it was just my hormones. It's not like I wanted to do that to them. And Deku's was like, his emotions are going all over the place. And he, and of course you say, um, Izuku? Yeah. I, I, I. He's like, and what she says shocks Izuku. She says, I, I love you. He's like, what? Uh, 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 Deku's eyes are wide open and she's all both flustered and, and all that in mind. Uh, oh, uh, say, um, I get it. You know, she, tr she was about to run up until Deku grabs her. And you, well, you know. She grabs it and. He basically kisses her. And she's like, mm. I know. <laughs> after, you know, the other two girls, where they, after they tackle me down, and he accidentally went into detail. And she got mad and flustered, and she tackled him. And remember, they, at the fucking front door, inside at the front door, she basically grabs his double, she grabs his double D and starts blowing it like crazy. And of course she's like, he's like, wait, 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 what, what are you, and she's like, it ain't fair. What's not fair? They got you before I did. And he's like, oh fuck. Dark is like, well in this universe at least I'm not a complete loser and I can, and he's like, wait, three girls. And you're just thinking, oh shit, don't tell me this is about to become a harem. <laughs> like, like, he's, right when, not right when she, basically she's blowing him and all that. He's not even paying attention because, first of all, he's kind of conked out. He's kind of about to pass out. Because she's doing it making, I guess, nice, I guess. He's like, and of course, then what he does, he grabs her, pins her down. And basically, he gets his two fingers, puts it into a fudging pussy. And then starts licking it, giving her like the finger lick combo. He's doing that, and yeah, this is gonna be go. Like I've, I already said this is, you know, this is basically um, eighteen or older, or eighteen X basically. Yeah, eighteen or older, basically. And I am not joking. <laughs> He, he does that, and she's moaning at fucking crazy. The fucking neighbors can hear this. And they're like, 
like the neighbors are like, what the fuck is going on? Cause you were she's moaning like she's moaning crazy. Imagine um one of those I don't know. It's, then after that, he kisses her and they're making the fuck out. And after that, after one of them making out, he he grabs his double D, sticks it in. And he goes in and out. He's making her moan. He's making her feel nice. And he's grabbing her tits and sucking on them. You see, he's grabbing her tits, sucking on them, put, gr- grabbing them, moving them around, sucking on them like crazy. She's moaning and shit. And she's like, dick, dick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and she came. She, she didn't, she kind of came. However, I guess a girl can come, I guess. Uh, I, well, for them, it's not busting a nut. I don't know. I don't know what you gotta say to it. I think it's like busting an egg or something. I don't know. He's like, she does that. He's like, and at the same time, when she does it, Deku does it. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. He says, bust a nut. And dude, that shit gets all over the fucking place. I'm not joking. That shit gets everywhere. And, well, you know, she's already passed down. Deku's like, well, she's already, like, kind of, you know, cocked out. Deku, he ain't even close to done. And she's, like, she her, she can barely fit her, her her body. And she's like, wait, no, not for round two. And he does it again. But this time better. And sleeker. Like, she's moaning and moaning like crazy. And guess who opens up the fucking door? Well, we're not there yet. She's there. Be he basically get he he's been about to finish. He, he after when he finishes, two people open up the door. This is this is um. Fuck, what would it be? It'll be um. Katsi, Katsume and and Asina, they're like. Uh, and he's like, uh, hey, uh, g- girl. And they both fucking slap him. And she's like, wait, no. She, they just slap him in the face. And they're like, what are you doing? And she, and, and she gets up and she's like, and of course she can really freaking move her legs. And she's like, wait, I forced myself on them. And of course, couple... Was it uh, five to ten minutes later? She explains he accidentally spilled the beans, and all go the thieves are blushing. He's like, well, I guess we're in a sticky situation, and they're all giving him like pissed off looks. He's like, uh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. In, in my correction, you all forced yourself onto me, so I'm not really in the wrong here. And they all three shut up and and of course then they all three you're gonna have to take responsibility for this and he's like wait huh what do you mean and they all they all basically do the finger thing putting their fingers together and and they're like well uh, you know and they spacey say at the same time, do you, uh, you dig, go out with all three of us and, you know, please us? And Deku was like, first of all, he's confused as fuck. He's like, what the fuck is going on? And of course, he doesn't know what he, he doesn't even know what he just got himself into. First of all, he just got himself into a fucking marriage. And of course, Deku wasn't really paying attention because, first of all, he was confused what he just heard. He was like, it was a like dumbfounded what he heard. And they're like, uh, they all three go up to him and they're like, Deku? Deku? They're like, Deku, get up. And it's like, what? Uh, I had this weird dream, you know, all three wanted to marry me. And they're like, what? Were you not wrong? Oh. <laughs> At least, and at least it's not, at least it's not that one universe where, at least not that one universe, at least we didn't all get drunk and then got married. (laughs) That would have been, that would have been, um, kind of, 
something. And they all blush. Because first of all, they're all thinking, wait, getting drunk and then getting married? And okay, that's basically where I'm going to end it off, basically. Would Deku marry them? Or would he not? Y'all can leave that in the comments. And also where, um, I bet a lot of, I bet a lot of y'all are confused why I put the drunken marriage thing. I actually was watching a YouTuber who put what if Deku was in a drunken marriage basically relationship or something like that. And I kind of wanted to put that in there because I thought it was funny. You know, that I, I thought that was funny and if I remember the, the two people who that YouTuber did, if I remember his Deku hated his father and his father basically got Deku, Uraka, and Momo drunk and they all got married, I guess. And I've seen the, i seen it. It's called What If Deku Was In A Drunken Marriage. It's a really, it's a really good, um, it's a, it's really good. I should go check it out and, sh you know, give the YouTuber some like. He's pretty good with his content. I actually like it. So, this one I'm going to leave it off, guys. So, peace out. And see y'all guys in the next video. So, peace out, guys. <laughs>